hello guys i am shubham and in this video we are going to see how to show that a is subset of b double implies with a union b is equal to b first of all we see some formulas which are required to solve this example first one is p implies q p implies q is nothing but negation p or q second one is p double implies q which is nothing but in first bracket p implies q ended with in second bracket q implies p last one is our distributive law uh, all we know this but for consideration okay. discuss, discussing it in first bracket p or q ended with r we simply giving this r to this p and q is like this for prove this we consider lhs of equation which is nothing but this uh, we can this represent in set notation like x such that x belongs to a implies x belongs to b double implies with x belongs to a or x belongs to b this complete for our simplification we write it like a implies with b double implies with a or first of all we um, we consider this as uh, p and this is q and applying p double implies q formula here and we are getting a implies p implies a or b bracket complete middle sign is and next bracket a or b implies with a implies b next step we are going to solve this as we know as we earlier discussed how to solve this so, negation of first ordered with second as it is middle sign is as it is here is also same a or b or a implies b here here and here there are other two implications so we also have to simplify this so in next step we are going to simplify this so all other things are as it is we only have to simplify this and this step in next step we have to keep these negations to this and this element so let's see what happens All other things are as it is. After this step, for simplification, we are going to apply distributive law. So, or we are applying distributive law for this. So we get A or B or this a middle sign is and second bracket a or b or negation b complete this bracket is also the middle sign is as it is in next bracket negation a b or negation a. we consider this bracket first Break complete so 
so here we can see both elements are same so we directly return like this this sign is as it is but in this step where we say there is an element with their negation and it is both are odd with each other so we are getting t next step for this bracket also here is same element so we write it as it is bracket complete metal sign but here same case is here so same element with their negation and it is both are odd with each other so we are getting t for some time we keeping this term as it is as we know any any element when odd with t we always get t here is also same we are getting t our last step was this so here t is ended with this element so we are taking in this whole term as a single term and then consider okay uh, this always uh, if now uh, okay, let's consider this as a p if p is ended with t we always getting p that means n in p middle sign as it is here is also same yes so we are getting a or p as we dis earlier discussed the mm, distributive law and for this step we are applying reverse distributive law so let's see how it will be so So as we know, A is ended with their negation. So we are getting false. Whenever as B is already with here, we are getting here, which is nothing but our RHS. So his proof. Um, as we proved this so thank you for watching